hello from Copenhagen Fashion Week. I have Yannick here with me and um, I have a couple of questions actually regarding the collection. Yeah. And the first one is based on the tailoring. For yeah. you it seems to be like a very focal point in every collection you do, yeah. no matter it's men's or women's. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me like what inspires you when it comes to working on tailoring? Because it's very specific. Yeah, it's very specific and it's the most important thing for me because that's where I build the core of the whole collection. Um, tailoring, you know, it, it allows me to kind of like work around every little tweak and curve that the human body have and and I work in a, in a way with the sculpture also, it allows me still to control the expression but on, on another note as well, I think ta tailoring is important because it grounds the collection which allows me more freedom somewhere to be more abstract without losing, you know, touch with, you know, what's kind of like what I need to touch, you know, in terms of we live in a, you know, in a real world where people have to somehow relate to what we're doing. And the other thing that's also very connected with your DNA is this very gender bending mm. idea of fluidity when it comes to being a guy or being a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love to see how it holds in every collection. Yeah. Uh, what's your stand on that in general? And do you think it's something that's paramount to change extremely even for high fashion in seasons to come? Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, for me, um, what can I say? I, whenever I create something, I let kind of the creation, creation evolve, you know, in an organic way. And I never, I, I very rarely create with a specific gender in mind, you know, I let creation be what it can be. And then we kind of take in all the other layers we have to do in terms of how we style it and, and what kind of characters do we need to do this and get the right emotion out of that. Um, so I always let the, 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 the natural, um, I let the natural um, energy within what we create dictates it. But coming back to your question, I think, yeah, that's that's how the world looks and that's how the world should look, you know, and, and that's also the way it looks. That's a, um, yeah, we have a little bird. Forward, yeah, we have a bird here going forward. And also one thing that's on everyone's mind is sustainability in general, especially when it comes to fashion world. And I, I was wondering, what do you do on a daily basis in your studio when it comes yeah. to thinking about sustainability? So I'm interested like yeah, in yeah. examples because a lot of people mm. like to talk about it in general. Yeah. But what are your examples and experience with it on literally daily basis yeah because i think if we take the general part you, you're right i mean the company you know the brand has a general uh, uh, uh politics around mm -hmm. how we want to do it we have an advisory board and all that you know but on a daily day-to-day -day basis we work we work in the studio right which allow us exactly. to the way we use uh, fabrics the way we kind of like maximize every little detail of that fabric without wasting too much you know that's one thing another thing is that we recycle everything we do so if you look at the garments from this collection compared to what it did in milan it's the same garments right mm. so and that what you know that's a way which is just is is is, is, is deep rooted in the way we work you know because we have responsibility to, to human beings and everything around us so so on a day-to-day -day basis, that's something we do. You know, of course, we use and 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 definitely also, you know, the way we maximize fabrics. And in general, we have a great way of sourcing our fabrics, so we know we do it the right way. Okay, thank you so much for this uh, Q and A, and that's it from us guys and and from the bird also. Thanks.